Let my people go. Bokoro hito bito ikasete kure. Um, anyway. Hello, everybody. This is Evan Rogers with Evansy's Japanese. We are coming at you with a JLPT N4 listening practice. Uh, these are all on PDFs that you can download, and I have links to the download site in the video description, along with links to how you can support me or get in contact with me. I would like to remind you that uh, there are rewards on Patreon and Subscribestar if you do the monthly donation, and that uh, on the Facebook page I do daily, next to daily, almost daily, uh, NHK Easy News headlines so that you can stay abreast of the strange information that comes on there. And if you go to the Reddit page, I post that along with these videos every single day. That being said, oh, oh, and I'm starting to do uh, timestamps so that you can look in the video description and in case you want to see, uh, just you want to just go down there and look at the uh, the grammar that I teach in this lesson. Uh, I do that and I also link you to when the listening starts, when my translations start, and when all that stuff sort of starts. So, that being said, these take a long time. Let's get this one done. Here we go. Boom. Not my button. Oh. 7番会社で女の人と男の人が花見の場所について話しています Okay, so um, there's no new grammar here, just some extra words. 会社で at a company, owner no hito, a woman to, otoku no hito, and a man ga, that's who we're talking about. Uh, hanami no basho no is... um. Hanami is when you go looking at the uh, sakura, the um, the cherry blossoms in Japan. I think it's give or take April. Uh, Northern Japan is later than Southern Japan because temperature exists. Uh, and nitsuite, uh, so nitsuite comes after nouns generally. Um, there we go, nitsuite. And after a noun, it's a, it means um, about that thing. So hanami no basho nitsuite hanashimasu. They are talking about... Uh, a location, a place for viewing the sakura. Nothing too crazy new there. Oh, okay. So this actually is all fitting. Okay, great. So let's get, keep on going. Otokunito as for the guy, doshite. Doshite is a why. So be careful because shite is the te form of suru, aka shimas. And a very, very, very similar verb is yarimas, yaru, yat. And doyate means how, whereas doshite means why. So, little tricky thing right there. Higashi Koen must be the name. Eastern Park. Higashi means east, Koen means park. Uh, kanji, east, uh, public, gardeny thing. Gai. Uh, so, okay, so as for the man, and then the verb that we're going to be looking at is itemasu ka. He says something. This is the quotative to particle. And for some reason, when they quote people, um, even though this technically happened in the past, we frequently use the te imas form. I'm not exactly sure why that happens. What is he saying, I guess, is what that translates to. Anyway, it just happens very frequently. And uh, it, when it's definitely past tense, uh, they'll use ite imasta, even though he's done speaking it. So I'm a little bit confused about that myself. But... Get used to it and truck on. That's sometimes the best way to handle Japanese. Uh, so what he said is all the way from doshite to uh, until the toe particle, which is the quotation toe. So it's like the quotation marker. Uh, and it says, doshite higashi koen ga i. So why? And then the word i has the idea of is and good together in it. So why is good? What's good? The higashi koen. Why is the Higashi Koen good? Why is the Eastern Park good? Why does he say the Eastern Park is good? All right, here we go. Okay, so this is fun. Uh, doyobi is Saturday. Shigoto no kairi ni hanami ni ikanai. Okay, so shigoto means... There we go. Shigoto means work, no kaeri. Uh, notice kaeri is the stem. I, I, it's so hard to get just the uh, 
I could do it backwards, but then I'm going to have the... Okay, there we go. Kaede is the stem of uh, kaede mas, the verb kaede mas, kaedu. The stem is just what you get when you cut off the mas from a mas verb. So kaede, mas, iki, mas, the kaede and the ikis are all the stems. Uh, mi mas, mi is the stem. All that sort of stuff is this, what we call the stem. Uh, kaede ni, uh, when you throw a ni particle after a uh, kaede... Um, it has different functions uh, depending on, on, on exactly what happens afterwards. But here it's functioning as like, uh, this is like the time, the time when they want to do something. So treat this as the time, ni, like kind of like on the way home. Uh, hanami, so this is once again the uh, sakura, ni ikanai. This ni after hanami is the to go to location and the ikanai is a negative question. And it's not just a negative question, it's a negative casual question, a direct question. Uh, the female, the F is at least, she is either above the male, looking at the next one, we can kind of see how it works, but she's either above the male socially or their good friends are on the same level, something like that. Uh, he responds with ine, uh, there's no des in there whatsoever, so uh, they are at least on a socially equal status and or they're just they just know each other Ikanai negative questions form uh, Invitations won't you the same thing will you not smish uh, will not together you get won't you go? Won't you go to the blah 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 so uh, on Saturday on the way home from work because they're working on Saturday Hanami and Ikanai won't you go sakura viewing with me? He goes ine. Let's hear him saying it Ine. Ine. <laughs> I was pretty close, eh? Uh, she goes, Doko ga ii? Doko ga ii, um, no new grammar whatsoever. There's no des here because, once again, this is the direct style. This is a this is a conversation between two people who know each other fairly well. Uh, okay, so because neither of them are using des or mas or any of that stuff, uh, this is two people who know each other fairly well. Doko ga ii, uh, where's good? Higashi kouen ga ii yo. So he says, Higashi Koen ga iyo. I assert to you that Higashi Koen is a nice place. And I'm friends with you. Sakura wa Higashi Koen to Kita Koen ga yume da kedo. Okay, so Sakura wa, as for the, uh, the cherry blossoms, Higashi Koen to Kita Koen ga yume da. So notice the da is, um. Okay, so you might be tempted to see dake here and think that it translates to only. However, really what's happening is notice we have yume, yume, which is a famous, and then da. Because yume is the end of this clause, this sort of sense, and we're ending it with da. So the, the sakura are famous. Uh, well, I, I guess it's... Uh, real, okay, so really what's happening is I'm talking about sakura. The Higashi Koen and the Kita Koen are famous. So that's what's happening there. So as pertaining to Sakura, the Eastern Park and the Toe Particle and the Northern Park, Ga Yume Da. They are famous, probably for Sakura, pertaining to Sakura, they are famous. And then we're going into the Kedo, but Oshiri. Uh, that's a joke because Oshiri means uh, but, B U T T. But I'm talking about the B U T, but. Kita Koen the northern park wa as for the northern park. So notice how this sakura wa um is pertaining to the entire sentence because this entire sentence is especially this clause, it's definitely pertaining to this clause, and it's kind of pertaining to the whole sentence. Uh, Everything in the sentence has to do with uh, with cherry blossoms. So uh, the the northern park, uh, you know, honestly, no, the sakura just goes to da. Uh, it's interesting to see the wa particle only going to the da part, the the uh, the the first end of the first clause, but that happens. And then we have kitako and wa maitoshi sugoku konda uh, komunda. Okay, so we have the nda at the end. This is the extended predicate, as I like to call it. It it this is nda or ndes or no da or no des all of those are the same and if you notice the no des if you take the the te form of da the no da the te form of da aka just the de there no de you've heard me say this numerous times this is the same thing as that because it translates to being that or it is that uh so this n is when you speak it's short for the no it's not really a particle, it's the nominalizing, the turn it into a noun, no. So we're turning komu into a noun, which would be it is busy. Komu is to be busy, to be crowded. 
So it is that. It is crowded. Sugoku is sugoi. 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 And all the girls in Japan clap like this. Sugoi. I don't know why. They look like really weird. Um, anyway, uh, the E turns into a ku because it's modifying a verb. So because it's modifying a verb, we do the E to the ku to the wizard was a woo. And uh, that turns into an adverb. An adverb modifies a verb, whereas an E adjective modifies an adjective. No, uh, a, a noun. That's a dumb joke. Because it's called adverb, adjective, but there's no adjective. All right, anyway. Sugoku uh, komu. So very crowded. It's that it's very crowded. My toshi every year. As for the northern park, every year it's very crowded, I tells ya. All right, cool. Uh, then he continues on talking about parks because he is. They should have had the South Park because then they would talk about four kids who would do bad things. Okay. Koen no naka ni. So um, this is interesting because we kind of have. This deteite is kind of an action verb. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This is not an action verb. This is an intransitive verb. So once again, we have intransitive and transitive making appearance. Transitivity is when you have a subject acting upon an object. And intransitive is when a subject just does something without pertaining to an object. So for example... Um, I always use these two examples, but let's uh, a door opens versus the, I opened the door. So when a door opens, the subject is just the door and it does something, it opens. Uh, or, and if you think about that, the door opens, even in English, that almost sounds like an adjective nature. We're describing whether or not the door can open. It feels like an adjective almost. Like we're almost saying this door is openable. Um, so uh, the door opens, as you can kind of see, it's not really an action. It, it is, but it isn't. Whereas the other one, uh, to open a door, so I open a door, we're saying that I am doing something and I'm acting upon the object, which is the door. There are numerous examples of this uh, in Japanese. Uh, but those are the easiest ones, akedu and aku uh, and all that sort of stuff. Deru, uh, that thing won't go away. Demas is an intransitive verb. Oh, uh, here we just have the te form. I can't seem to get just that. Kind. Yeah, I can't get the kanji. So anyway, uh, deru is, uh, this is the te form. So dete is the te form of deru, which is something, um, it has numerous uh, translations. Here it means um, like are produced, are, are, are put out. Um, so uh, the... This is the intransitive, so it's just something d something does something. Whereas the transitive would be dasu, which is to take something out, to produce something. Uh, in Japan, when the teacher tells you to get out your homework, she says, shukuta o dashite, dashimasu, dasu, which is the transitive, you get out your homework, get the homework out. So you are going to get out, what are you going to get out? The homework, and that's a transitive verb, dasu. This is the the homework gets out. This would just be like if we use dete, deru, shukutai ga deru, it would be the homework comes out. And so, in the same way that the homework comes out is presented, here we have, oops, I moved the thing, tabe mono no mise ga dete. So, a tabe mono no mise ga, so food stores, you know, appear, make an appearance, come out. And so, this coming out isn't really an action. Uh, if you think, I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's like like if something just sort of pops into existence. Um, we could just say the rule is we use knee particles for intransitive verbs, uh, but that causes a little bit of confusion. So because this isn't really some, an action taking place, this isn't really an action happening. Um, this is sort of, you know, the things just sort of whoa, appear to an extent. Uh, the, the knee particle is acceptable. Okay, so time on when we say gatakusan just means plentiful, lots of them. So, uh, dete iru, because we're talking about maitoshi, uh, she doesn't say maitoshi here, but that was the previous sentence. Maitoshi every year. Uh, the, the continuative form, dete ite, uh, works. However, we could argue that this isn't actually a, uh, a continuation verb, like, you know, um, I am eating or something like that. We could argue that this is just, um, what would I like to say? This is a, um, 
a, a be in the state of this happening. So in the same way that a door is open or a door is closed, we could say that these doors do make uh, are appearing, if that makes sense. Uh, so it sounds like maybe the stores are already open. Like maybe the stores are already in the park and, she, and, and he's saying that they are there. Uh, the same way that a door is open, the tabemono no mise ga dete iru. They are appearing. They are making a presence. So that's more likely the best translation for this uh, te ite form. Uh, the te here, so this te is, is so that it can go into iru. This is the te form of iru. And this te is because this is most likely a, a cause of something. Or he's making a long list. Seeing as how these aren't action verbs, it's more likely this is the cause of why it's so busy. So, tak, so mise wa takusan dete ite. And aruite mo, even if you walk. So this uh, aruku, aruite, this is the te form of arukimas aruku. And it goes into iru, but this iru is once again the te form. And then this te form goes into the mo particle. So that's a lot of grammar. We have the verb aruku. We're going to flip it to the te form, aruite, because it's going into the iru, aruite iru, being walking or continuously walking. Uh, Okay, so continuously walking or be in a state of walking. And then that would be te iru, but we want to use the te mo form. The te mo means even if, even if you walk, even if you are walking. Okay, so remember how you might remember that I said that if we say that the rule is intransitive verbs get the ni particle and uh, transitive verbs get the de particle. That is generally the explanation you're given by people on the internet when you ask this in the forums. It's not the best. Uh, re it's not the best argument um, because walking and going and uh, returning home and moving, all of these moving verbs are intransitive, and yet there's an action happening. If that makes sense. So the door opens. There's not really an action happening. We're actually describing the door. The door opens is there's a description that the door opens. Uh, that's that's almost more an even though it is a verb and verbs are quote unquote, you know, actions. They're not really. Uh, and uh, intransitive verbs are usually not actually actions. You know, the door opens, the, the door shuts. That's a description. However, if I say I go to the store, um, I go to the store, there's definitely an action happening. I go to the store. I am physically moving my own body, right? And yet there's there's no actual there's no actual object in the sentence. So this is the gray area. Uh, the textbook Japanese, the spoken language, talks about this, how there's no operand is what they talk about. Um, it gets very tricky. That's not necessary right now, and I'm rambling on about this, but you should be aware that, you know, there's a little bit of a gray area here. Okay, so anyway, so what they're saying is uh, the park every year, uh, or, or no, this is probably currently, not every year. So at the park, a koen no nakani in the park, tabimono no mise ga takusan date, there are many uh, stores have been produced, have, are, are there, have, are, you know, present. So aruite ite mo, even if we're walking, Naka naka mai ni susume nainda. Oh, sorry, I should actually let him say that. Aruite ite mo naka naka mai ni susume nainda. Okay, there we go. Aruite ite mo, even if we're walking, even though we try to walk, even if we're walking, naka naka generally just translates to like a bit, rather, kind of. Okay, uh, and then mai ni is to go forward. Uh, susumeru. This is the verb susumeru. It is a moving verb, like I just got done rambling about aruku. Uh, this is the verb to proceed, which is a movement verb. And then notice how we're using the ni particle with susumeru. However, the ni particle is much more um, to where you're going. So proceed to forward, proceed to the front, you know, go forward. We can't proceed forward. Uh, okay, so a susumeru would be, um, oh, sorry, excuse me, time out. My brain's, my brain got tricked, sorry. The actual verb here is susumu, which is to proceed. Susumeru 
is the ability to proceed. Excuse me. Susumu is a group one verb. Susumu, sum, susumanai, susumenai, uh, all that sort of stuff. And this is the potential. Susumeru. Uh, just my brain got screwed up. Long day. Give me a break. Susumeru is the potential. However, here we're making a negative. No matter what verb we're talking about, we have the group ones, I guess they're called godan verbs, or the group twos, which are the ru verbs, or even the um, the, the weird verbs, uh, the suru and kuru, or even the never talked about special polite verbs, irasharu, kudasaru, oshiaru, nasaru, and gozaru, those five. Uh, even them, even those, all, every single verb, when you make them in the potential, you know, the be able to do form, they turn into group two verbs, the ru form verbs. Uh, so susumu, the potential is susumeru, and that's a group two verb. Eru sound is almost always a group two. And susume, the negative would be nai. So this is, you can't, you can't proceed forward, you know, hardly at all, rather, gradually. Uh, he's describing, you know, how frustrating it is, kind of like this. You won't be able to even a little bit proceed forward. Nda, I explained to you. I'm explaining. I'm giving you a reason. It's that you can't proceed to you know, to the forward, you know, proceed forward, Naka, you, you, you know, you rather, you can't, you can't even really, that's kind of what's happening, you can't even really proceed forward, even if you're walking, and then this deteite is giving a reason, uh, it, it's, it's, it is giving a reason, but it's not really giving a reason, he, he, he's positing a, he's, he's quote unquote giving a given, so given that, so being that, uh, the stores have all popped up in the, uh, in the park, even if you, so, so this deta ite is being that, similarly to this nda, so it is that, it, being that these things have popped up in the park, even if we're walking, we can't really go forward. Okay, that's a lot of grammar right there. Uh, sorry, that was so long. That's why these videos take so long. Let's highlight what she's going to say. We'll just do the whole thing. Okay, so omatsuri is a, um, is a, a noun, the festival, a, 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 you know, a big event. Mitai is it's like an event. So mitai after noun means it looks like, it seems like, a uh, whatever the thing is so it's like a festival uh hanami is not actually a festival there's not like a big like woo 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 stuff going on however a bunch of people in the same place good chance to make money people are going to put up shops so this de is the te form of des or da really it's da but because des de is the te form of des but shut up very rarely used uh, well, not rarely, but much less commonly. So once again, this is just like this tap here. Being that, being that uh, it's like a festival. Nigiyaka, busy. Nigiyaka de. Okay, so this de here is very much like this, but really what it is is nigiyaka is a, uh, a na adjective. And when we're listing two adjectives together and they're modifying the same thing, we use the te form. Uh, usually, there's a few exceptions like colors use the toe particle in, in their noun in their noun form. We use the toe particle, but let's not worry about that right now. So nigiyaka de tanoshii. Uh, so it is busy and it is fun. So this hanami is being like a festival. It's crowded slash busy and fun. Tanoshii. However, she goes tanoshii to tanoshi so. This tanoshi so is um, once again it, it it just means it seems like it's it's similar to mitai it's similar to mitai so nigiyaka de tanoshi so so um it's it it, it 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 looks very fun and busy da kedo once again we have da kedo so after an e adjective like this is a noun so tanoshi so da and then but kedo. Uh, this is her looking for agreement from the listener. Tsukaru is to make one tired, and choto is a little bit. So, it's like a festival. So, so, uh, so even though it's like a fest, even though it's like a festival, being like a festival, it it, it seems very in, it seems very fun and busy and lively. Maybe the lively is a good translation for nigiyaka. But you get a little bit tired, nah. He responds with. Uh, let's just go chunk by chunk. 
Okay, so、uh, Higashi Koen mo, so even in the eastern park, hito wa oin da ke do. Hito wa oin da ke do. So once again, we have this nda in the middle, followed by ke do. So, so、uh, there we go. Even though, you know, I'm explaining to you that people are plentiful. Even here, notice we don't need a demo or a nemo. We could, but we don't really need it. Also, the eastern park, that's what the mo is doing as well. The eastern park as well. Hito wa oin da ke do. There are many people. The wa particle here, I'm a little bit shocked at. I think this is putting oi.、Um, it's putting hito in the category of oi,、uh, which is plentiful or many. While there are many people there, I explained to you though. Ike ga ate, there's a pond. Hune ni no te. Oh, I did not get this far. Ike ga ate. Ike is a pond, and ga ate, there is a pond. And then he's going to continue with the te form. Hune ni no te. Hune ni no te, riding a boat. So, hune ni no te, norimas is the, the te form of boat. Notice、uh, we don't, in English, the boat is the thing that we ride, so that'd be the object. In Japanese, it's the thing that we board. So we, we, we board onto the boat. Sakura ga mirareru kara tanoshi yo. So, Sakura ga mirareru kara tanoshi yo. It is fun.、Uh, tanoshi is it's fun. Why? Because mirareru. This is the potential of to be able. Well, it's the potential of miru, see. So this is able to see.、Uh, be careful not to confuse mirareru and mieru.、Uh, mieru is to.、Um, To make an appearance, I believe. And、uh, miraduru is、uh, to be able to see. So, sakura, notice how once again there's the potential and it operates like an adjective. The sakura are able to be seen, they are visible. Maybe I should just call this visible.、Uh, and riding a boat, the sakura are visible kara because of that tanoshi. So,、uh, as for the Eastern Park, the Eastern Park as well, there are many people. There are many people. People, there are many of them.、Uh, but I explained to you. But、uh, there's, a, par- there's a, a pond, and we can ride on the boat.、Uh, and the,、uh, being that the sakura are visible, it's fun.、Uh, she says, Omoshiroso. Omoshiroso, that sounds fun. Higashi Koen wa kaisha kara wa aruite ikeru? All、right, another potential. Ikeru is to be able to go. Ikimas, iku, ikeru.、Uh, so the a sound of a group one verb is the potential, usually. Not always, but usually.、Uh, there's also ikeba, which is a potential.、Uh, I'm sorry, it's a conditional. Ikeru is、um, able to go. Aruite ikeru is are we able to walk to there? You know, are we able to go via walking? So if you think about.、Um, This is interesting. If you think about the de particle, you know, kuruma de iku, go via car.、Um, it's kind of like the de form of the des or da. So, the same way that's almost like a te form, aruite, by walking, can we go? Are we able to go by walking? Higashi koen wa. As for the eastern part, kaisha kara. <laughs> This is tricky. Kaisha kara from work. Aruite ikeru, are we able to go? And the wa here, that's a hell of a thing to throw、uh, in there. Okay, so higashi koen wa, kaisha kara wa, at least as far as from work, I'm not talking about walking from where we are now or from your house or I'm not talking about walking from any other location. I'm talking about walking from work. Can we do it? That's what's happening with this wa particle. It is, it is, it is restrict. So, so think about this as the pr- quote unquote, just if you don't know what this word means, just go with it. It's the predicate. And we're limiting this predicate, being able to walk somewhere. This wa is limiting what this predicate is describing. It's limiting it to this kaisha kara from work. I'm not talking about from China. I'm not talking about from Hokkaido. I'm not talking about from Mars. I'm not talking about from California. I'm not talking about from Ohio. Oh, which? Anybody, anybody out there? Okay. I'm not talking about any of those locations. I'm talking about from work. 
That's what the wah particle is doing there. That's what the wah particle is doing there. The wah particle can indeed follow other particles. There are a few it can't follow. Um, anyway, it can go after almost many different things. Um, okay, so anyway, so at least from work, can we go there? Like, I'm not talking about going from, you know, all those other locations. I'm repeating myself. Let's move on. Here we go. Oh, Hetto, I'm thinking out loud. Aruku no wa. So we have the wa particle again. Notice we put the wa particle after nouns frequently. And indeed, this no, this no is a na nominalizing no. This is turning aruku into a noun. So walking, we, in English, we turn uh, verbs into nouns usually by adding ing to them. Like, I like trucks. I like eating. I like toys. I like stabbing. Uh, you know, things that we add the ing ending to a verb and we turn it into a noun. The same way they add a no to the end. That's not always what the ing does in English. But anyway, uh, we add a no to a verb here and it turns into a noun. So walking, wa, as for walking, not driving a car, not taking a taxi, not getting an Uber, not riding a boat, not riding a bike. Walking, wa murida. Uh, so is impossible. Muri is impossible. Uh, this guy needs better shoes. <laughs> uh, wa muri da. And then once again, we have this keto, this da keto. Make sure you're not thinking dake, do, and then this do just doesn't do anything. Just make, make sure it's da keto. Okay, just keep that in mind over and over again. Basu nara jugo hun de tsuku. Basu nara jugo hun de tsuku yo. Okay, so this is fantastic. Notice how aruku no wa. He's using the wa particle for walking, whereas he's using nara for um, bus. Uh, nara is a conditional, so it's kind of like if we're talking about a bus, so if or if we go by bus. So if we blank by bus, if we're talking about a bus, if we're going by bus, if we're thinking about a bus, all of these different verbs could go with nara. Uh, this is, I believe, one of the conditional. This is the eba form of um, the des, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I guess there's also de adeba, but anyway, something similar to that. It's a conditional of des to an extent, of da. Uh, you see the na there, like the na adjective. So once again, uh, this is probably stems from naru, nara, naranai, all that sort of stuff. This probably comes from narimas. Anyway, the conditional is likely where the wa particle came from. It probably came from an old-fashioned eba sound. So um, anyway... This nara is functioning extremely similar to the wa particle here. So by walking, at least, it's impossible. But hey, if we're talking about a bus, 15 minutes. Okay, so just I want to point this out. Sometimes nara and the wa particle, the, you know, these, the wa particle is very closely tied to a conditional. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot. I'm going over this so much because what's wa mean? What's ga mean? Where can I use wa? There's, there's even a misinformation. Um, I, I wrote on the subreddit for Learn Japanese that uh, you can use wa for objects. And people started yelling at me because I don't know what they're smoking. But I wrote something like, uh, or something like uh, I don't know. I wrote like, pizza wa ski da kido. And they were all like, that sounds like the pizza likes something. And I'm like, no, it means I like pizza, but maybe I don't like cheeseburgers. So there's a lot of confusion out there. Um, anyway, I'll stop tooting my own horn. Basu nara. So uh, if we're talking about bus, jugohun. So we're counting time, uh, 15 minutes. De. And this de further emphasizes that we're not talking about at 15 minutes of the hour. This very much means via 15 minutes. Uh, tsuku is to arrive, so we will arrive um, in just in 15 minutes. Uh, it's kind of what's happening with this de particle. Uh, via, the same idea like uh, riding a bicycle to get to a location. Via a bicycle, via 15 minutes. If we're talking about a bus, we can get there in 15 minutes. Ja, higashiko en niko. Okay, so the place and then ni, that's to where we're going to go. Iko. Uh, iko, this is the quote unquote the tentative. We could also. Call it, I can't get just the eco. Um, uh, okay, so eco is the tentative, also known as the consultative in some books. What it means is here, it means let's go. Uh, and if you think about what let's go, uh, this is the masho form, if you're familiar with masho. This is the plain slash the casual form of masho, ikimasho. Uh, this is the non-polite way of saying let's go. Okay, so um, 
once again, you, you've probably heard me say this before in a previous video, but um, the te it's called the tentative or the consultative because think about the actual verb iku, like ik means to go, like I will go to the store, I, I do go to the store, I went to the store, right? There's a going and it happened, blah. But now we're adding this weird feeling, we call it a mood, we're adding this mood of I will go, but also like, what do you think, how about? Like, what do you think about going? Like, let's go. In English, that's, it's, the construction is very much, I mean, if you think about it, you're asking for permission. Let us play with the toy. Let us play. Let's go. The, the apostrophe S in, in English is actually us. It's one of the, it's, it's one of the dumbest apostrophe S's ever because usually it's is or a possessive, but let's go is actually let us go. Let my people go. Um, anyway, it's very much, I mean, you're, you're, you're asking for permission. Um, in fact, you're ordering permission because you're not, will you let us go would actually be asking for permission. Um, let's go is demanding permission. Uh, anyway, that's English being weird, but that feeling of let's go is very much, how about it? You know, yeah, I, I think we should do this. Don't you agree? Let's do it. And that, that feeling of mutually assured feeling of going is what this tentative, you're tentative about saying you're going to go. You're consulting with the other person, whether or not you should go to an extent. You're not like you're actually sitting down on a board meeting. Um, but that, that's what this, this call, and that's important when we start saying like, Ikotoshita or ikotomotita. That that comes into play with verb. This understanding of what this ko ending is comes into play with other verb. Uh, sorry, grammar uh, points in the future. All right, then they're going to ask the question again. Uh, where are they going? Why are they going to go there? Otokonohitoはどうして東公園がいいと言っていますか? So uh, why did the guy say it's good to go there? Uh, there's a pond and Tabemono no mise ga takusan arukara. That's the northern park. There's a lot of food places. Matsuri ga te nigiaka. There's actually no festival. She said it's like a festival. So, so two is straight out wrong. Uh, the nigiaka part's right. It is busy and lively, which is a which is a good quality. When you want to go out and have some fun, you want to have it lively. You don't want to go to a funeral to have a party. Uh, sorry to dead people. Is that necrophobic uh, fune no ue de sakura ga mirare ru okay so so <laughs> uh this is the correct answer oh sorry fune no i don't know what i was thinking fune no ue de sakura ga mirare ru okay i thought it said on top of the water you can see it but uh my brain's just not functioning on all cylinders today fune is boat no ue de so if you get on a boat, you're on top of the boat, aren't you? So this is just a really strange way of saying on top of the boat. So fune no ue de, so via the top of the boat. Notice miru is a uh, is an action verb, so de works. However, miraru is also a description. You know, something is visible. Like if you look at this, it actually says sakura ga miraru. The sakuras are visible. And then the de, I mean, here we're seeing how it can mean a place of action or it could be like via. I mean, via the top of the boat, you can, these are visible. So the, here dead is operating like via, but also it's the place from which they are visible, right? So this is where uh, we're getting, the more you learn about these particles and how they function, and then you see more about these verbs and things like that, you start seeing how you learned five different definitions of a particle and yet they're all strangely the same, your brain is going to start melding them together. So the same way that you eat with a fork, you know, that with a fork or via a fork, or, you know, you get on a bus and you go, you go via a bus, you know, that's via or with together with using. So via the top of the boat on top of the boat is, but it's also a location where an action's happening, right? If me do, if it were just me, it would be an action. You're seeing something. However, this is passive, or sorry, it's potential, so you're able to see something, and able to see is a description, you know, the, the sakura are visible, so it's not really an action, but then again, do you see how it's merging together? I hope you can kind of see that, um, and if you can't see that, don't worry about it, but 
I hope I'm blending those two definitions of debt into your brain. Uh, I, I, ho- I hope there's some blending happening. And if, and if it's not, just go over that a few times and you'll start to see it. Uh, Kaisha, Ka- Kaisha Kara. So from the company, Aruite Ikeru Kara. Uh, okay, so uh, from the company, you can walk there. Because, so all these are because you can see, because it's lively, because there's lots of stuff, because you can walk there from the company. Uh, really quickly, I want to point out Kaisha Kara means from the company. Whereas kaisha da kara means because of the company or because it is a company, something along those lines. So just make sure kaisha kara from the company. Kaisha da kara because it is a company, because there is a company, because we're talking about a company, because is a company. Uh, so just be aware that, that there's a difference between, uh, you, have to, you have to pay attention to what comes be at before kaisha. So notice how we have a verb Going into kara, that's because we can go, we can walk there. So the same way that this da would change the meaning of this kara, this e, this this verb is changing the kara. So da kara is very similar to ikeru kara in meaning, whereas noun kara means from a location or from a person even, you know, from me, I'm writing you a letter. All right, uh, that being said, let's give you the basic English translation without all the fancy verb stuff. So, Hey, on Saturday, on the way home from work, you want to go check out the uh, the Hanami, the um, the, the Sakuras? That sounds nice. Dokugai, where would be good? Where do you want to go? You know, Dokugai, what, where would be nice? Where do you want to go? Higashikoen ga iyo. The Eastern Park's the best. Sakura wa higashikoen to kitokoen ga yume dakero. So, uh, both the, as for... The Eastern Park and the Northern Park are both famous for their sakura. Yeah, the, the, you can see the limitations of our literal translation versus our usual English translation. But, uh, but you know, every year the Northern Park is busy. I, you know, I, I assert this information to you. So, uh, you know, there, there's a whole bunch of uh, food stands in the park so so because there's a whole bunch of food stands in the park being that there's a whole bunch of food stands in the park even if we're walking there we, we just we just can't get anywhere we can proceed forward i'm translating that we just can't go anywhere i hope you can see the we, we can't really progress forward there's my mouse um, being that it's like a, a festival, so it's like a festival, it's busy, and it, it, it really seems fun, but but you get tired. This is either you will get tired, we will get tired, or we do get tired every year. So there's also a whole bunch of people over, uh, so in the eastern part, there's a bunch of people as well. Uh, but uh, there's a pond, and you can ride the boats and see the. Uh, and but but you you can see the soccer f- from the boats on the pond. Um, that's not really a good English translation. It's just this is a run-on sentence. So uh, in the eastern park as well, there's a whole bunch of people. Uh, but there's a pond, and you can ride on a boat, and you can see the soccer from the boat. I kind of have to be using the same verb from the boat twice. Uh, it's fun because you can see the uh, the soccer from the boat. Oh, that sounds fun. Almost so. Are we able to walk to the park from the company? Is kind of how that, that sort of pops out. Uh, no, it's, we can't really do that. But, uh, but you know, if, we're, if we take a bus, it'll be 15 minutes. We'll arrive in 15 minutes. Yeah, hey, well, yeah, let's go to the, the eastern park. Why is the guy saying it's a good place? Okay, uh, let's listen to that again. Do 公園の中に食べ物の店がたくさん出ていて歩いていてもなかなか前に進めないんだ。お祭りみたいで賑やかで楽しそうだけど、ちょっと疲れるね。東公園も人は多いんだけど、池があって
船に乗って桜が見られるから楽しいよ面白そう東公園は会社からは歩いて行けるえっと歩くのは無理だけどバスなら15分で着くよじゃあ東公園に行こう男の人はどうして東公園がいいと言っていますか And that is the end of that. I think after this, we are on the section three of the listening. That sounds like it's going to be fun. I hope that they're shorter so we can make faster videos and I can make more of them quicker. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe, share, comment. Let YouTube know this is worth listening to. Maybe consider donation. Patreon, subscribe, start, you get rewards. Doing NHK easy headlines, translations on Facebook and on my Reddit page. All the links in the,、uh, below in the video description. Have yourself a happy, happy day. Peace out, guys.